today we will discuss one theory. See, two, but we will discuss one series. Five, eight, eleven, that's one. So this is in AP. Five minus two, three. Eight minus five, three. Eleven minus eight, three. Fourteen minus eleven, three. So it is in AP. Now, see if I discuss here, see sum of these three terms, S three. So I can say here S three sum of the three terms. 2 plus 5, 7. 7 plus 8, 15. The sum of this 3 term is 15. Clear? And sum of this 4 term. Sum of this 4 term. 15 plus 11. 26. Clear? Now, if I Subtract this 26 minus 15, naturally you will get 11 or not. So I can say this T4, this, this is 4 to top. 11 is 4 to top. So now I can say this T4 is equal to S4 minus S3. S4, S4 is sum to 4 term is 26. This is S4. Sum to 4 term is 26 and sum to 3 term is 15. So 26 minus 15. So you will get 11. That is 4th term. So T4 is equal to S4 minus S3. I can say 26 minus S3 15. So that is equal to how you got 11. So you know that 4th term is 11. So when two sums are given, you can find the term. So T4 is S4. Here it is 4. So here it will be 4. Minus S3 consecutive. Here it is 4, so here it is 3. So similarly I can say now, this is the case. Now I can say S11 minus S10. So S11 minus S10, this should be consecutive. See, 4 and 3 consecutive. So answer will be which term you will get now? You will get T11. Have you got it or not? So I can say S11 minus S10 is equal to T11. This term, bigger term, bigger term you will get here. Similarly, if I say a okay, term 23, so what you will get? You will get S23 minus S22. So similarly, if I say TN, so 23 means 23, N means N, SN, 1 less than this. So it is 23, so here it is 22, that is 23 minus 1. So I can say here SN minus 1. So now this is the concept. See. So now I can say the nth term is Pn is equal to Sn minus Sn minus 1. 1 less than this n means n minus 1. 23 means 22. See 11 means 10. 23, 22. 1 less. n, 1 less n minus 1. Have you got it? So this is the concept you have to keep in your mind. I hope you understood this concept. Now we will discuss problem number 11. Question number 11. Very important. Exercise 5.3. See what is here. If the sum of first n terms of an AP is sum of first n term of an AP, so Sn is equal to 4n minus n square. This is given. Sum of n terms of an AP is this. Then what is the first term? Then you have to find what is the first term. That is T1. T1 equal to question mark. What is the sum of first two terms? So S2 is equal to question. What is the second term? E2 is equal to quotient. Similarly, find the third, tenth, and nth term. Third term. E3 is equal to quotient mark. Okay. E3, T10. T10 is equal to quotient mark. And Tn is equal to quotient mark. This many things you have to find out. Here, Sn is given. So, sum to first term. See here. Sum to first term is 2. Sum to two term is 5 plus 2, 7. T1 plus T2. Sum to first term means first term itself, T1. So here you want to find T1. Clear. So what we have here, we have now Sn. And you want to find Tn. 
T10, T3, T2, T1, many things you have to find out. So I will find Tn. So Tn is equal to Sn minus Sn minus 1. So what you have here? You have Sn. Sn is 4n minus n square. So if it is n, you will write here n. Now you will get Sn minus 1. So n minus 1 means wherever there is n, you will write n minus 1. So here you write 4 into n minus 1 minus n. n here n means you will write n. So n minus 1 means you will write n minus 1 the whole square. Have you got it this way? See, Sn is 4n minus n square. So S2 means in place of n you are writing 2. So here also in place of n you have to write 2. Here in place of n you are writing n minus 1. So in place of n you will write n minus 1. In place of n you will write n minus 1. Clear? So this is equals to. Now in these two terms you can take n minus 1 common. Or just to multiply common. See 4n minus 4 minus n minus 1 the whole square. a minus b the whole square. So n square minus 2n minus a minus b the whole square. a square minus 2ab plus b square a minus b the whole square, a square minus 2ab plus b square, so n square minus 2 into n into 1, 2n plus 1. Now you will open the bracket, so 4n minus 4 minus n square plus 2n minus into minus plus, minus into plus minus 1. So now what you will get here, 4n plus 2n, 6n minus n square, minus 4 minus 1, minus 5. So this you will get n minus 1. Now you want to find Tn. So Tn is equal to Sn minus Sn minus 1. This theory you have seen. Tn is equal to Sn minus Sn minus 1. So now Sn. Sn is here. 4n minus n square. Now this minus Sn minus 1. This is Sn minus 1. So minus will take in bracket 6n minus n square minus 5. Now you will open the bracket 4n minus n square minus 6n plus n square plus 5. So this plus n square minus n square cancel. 5 you will write 4n minus 6n you will get minus 2n. So you got Tn is equal to 5 minus 2. Now what you have to find T1, T2, T3, T10, Tn. So you got Tn. So we have find out Tn. This is Tn. Now you want T1. So T1 is equal to 5 minus 2 into 1. So that is equal to 5 minus 2 is equal to T. Okay, T2. T2 is equal to, this is Tn, okay. So there is in place of n you have written 1. So here also in place of n you have to write 1. Now in place of n you have written 2. So 5 minus 2 into in place of n2. 5 minus 4. So that is equal to 1. So we got T2. Now we will find T3. T3. So 5 minus 2 into 3. So that is equals to 5 minus 6. So that is equals to minus 1. Then we will find T10. T10 is equals to 5 minus 2 into 10. So that is equals to 5 minus 20. So that is equals to minus 15. So T10 you got. T3 you got. Clear. Now S2. So S2 means here you will get 2. So you will get S2. Or S2 is equal to T1 plus T2 also you can add. Sum to 2 term is T1 plus T2 you can add. T1 is equal to 3. T2 is equal to 1. So that is equal to 4. So you got S2 also. So in this way, by using this theory, you have solved this problem. Got it? So it is quite easier. Okay friends. Now we have discussed question number 11. Now question number 2. Find the sum of first 40 positive integers. Sum of first 40 positive integers divisible by 6. Sum of first 40 positive integers divisible by 6. So, integer divisible by 6, first 40. So, 6 ones are 6. 6 2's are 12, 6 3's are 18. Clear? Dash, dash, dash. So this is first integer divisible by 6, second, third, you have to find 40. So 6 40's are, that will be the 40th integer. So this is third, 6 3's are. 
So it is third. Now 40 you want then 6 into 40. 6 into 40 into 40. So now you have to find sum of this 40 integer divisible by 6. So all these are the integer divisible by 6. So now integer divisible by 6. Now you have to find sum 40. So you use the formula Sn is equals to n by 2 a plus l plus 5. That is Tn. So S40, so you will write 40 upon 2. First term, first term is 6. 40th term is P40. P40 is 2 4. This is 20 into 240 plus 6, 246. Now 6 twos are 12, carry 1. 4 twos are 8 and 1, 9. 2 twos are 4, 4, 9, 2 is 0. So this is the sum of first 40 integer which is divisible by 6. Very simple. Or if you are not able to find this 40th integer, never mind. A is equals to 6, difference is equals to 6. Then you have to find S40 using second formula. Clear? So this is question number 12. Now question number 13. Find the sum of first 15 multiple. Sum of first 15 multiple. Of first 15 multiples of 8. So now multiples of 8. Are 8 multiples. First 15. First 15. 8. 8 twos are 16. 8 twos are 24. That dot dot dot. 15 multiples. So 15 8s are. 8 5s are 40. 0. Carry 4. 1 8 is 8. 8 and 4. 12. I got it friends, in order to use this formula, we are finding the last term. And see, this is first 8 ones are. Okay, 8 ones are. So, this is first 8 twos are. Twos are means this is second. 8 threes are will be third. And 15 means 8 into 15. It will be 15 ones. So, it is in 18. Now, you have to find some. So, you know, we will use Sn is equals to n by 2 a plus Tn. So S15 is equals to 15 by 2 first term A, A is 8 plus 15 to term, 15 term is 1 to So 15 by 2 into 128, 2 ones are here yeah, is 64. So 15 into 64 you have to find out. 15 into 64 is 0, 6, 9, 9, 6. So very simple, both are similar problems, that's all. Now question number 14. Find the sum of odd number. Sum of odd numbers. Sum of odd numbers between 0 and 50. Between 0 and 50. You want to find sum of odd numbers between 0 and 50. So therefore odd numbers. Between 0 and 50 are 1, 3, 5, 7, dot, 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 40, 9. 50 is even number. So you have to find, you have to, you don't want to include 0 and 50 because both are even number. You have to find odd between 0 and 50. So these are the odd number between 0 and 50, which is in 80. Now you have to find some. First term, second term, third term, fourth term, we don't know which term it is. In this case, we were knowing that this was the 40th term. Okay, this was the 40th term. This was the 15th term. We were knowing, but here we don't know which term it is. So, we use formula number 2. So, here A is equals to 1. Difference is equals to 3 minus 1. That is equals to 2. Okay, now we use formula SN. Sum of odd number between 0 and 50. So, we want A, D and N. We don't have N here. And what is friends? We don't have n. So we want to find out which term it is. Here, first, second, third, fourth. Which term this we don't know. We want n. So let it be nth term. This is let it be nth term. So we can say let pn is equals to 49. So a plus n minus 1 into d is equals to 49. a is 1 plus n minus 1. Difference is 2 is equals to 49. So n minus 1 into 2 is equals to 49 minus 1, 48. 
So n minus 1 is equal to 48 upon 2 multiplication goes here division. So n minus 1 is equal to 1s are here 24. So n is equal to 25. So this is the 25th term. So there are 25 terms. We require three things in order to find some a, m and d. Okay. Now we will find some. So we know this is the last term we know now it is. And some n is 25. So we want to find s25. Clear or not? So we use Sn equal to n by 2 a plus l last term. So now s25 is equal to 25 by 2. First term is 1. Last term is 49. So 25 by 2 into 50. Two ones are here 25 there. So that is equal to 625. Have you got it friends? So sum of what number between 0 and 50 is 625. This is question number 4. So now we discuss question number 15. See, read the question. A contract on construction job specifies a penalty for delay of completion beyond a certain date as follows. 200 rupees for the first day, 250 rupees for the second day, and 300 rupees for the third day, etc. The penalty for each succeeding day being rupees 50 more than for the preceding day. How much money the contractor has to pay as penalty if he has delayed the work by 30 days? Clear. So here, you look at the problem, you will understood that a contract on construction, see there is a specified time limit to complete a project. Okay, this has to be completed in 200 days and after that, if he is not able to complete the project in 200 days, then after that he has to pay penalty. So here penalty amount is 200 rupees for the first day. Okay, penalty 200 rupees for the first day, then 250 for the second day. So, penalty on first day, penalty on first day is equal to rupees 200, penalty on second day is equal to rupees 250, penalty on third day is equal to rupees 300. Okay, and so on, and the penalty for each succeeding day will be 50 more than the preceding day. So, we can find the penalties paid forms an AP that is 200, 250, 300, dash, 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 dash. This is on first day, second day, third day. So, how much money the contractor has to pay as penalty if he has delayed the work for 30 days? So, that work is delayed. Instead of completing in 200 days, that fellow has taken 230 days. So, it is delayed by 30 days. So, what amount of penalty the contractor has to pay to the builder? So, here we can say A is equal to 200, difference is equal to 50 and number of days is equal to 30 days. N is 30. 1, 2, 3, 30 days. You want to find sum of these 30 days. So, we can use here Sn is equal to n by 2, 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Why this formula? We don't have the last term. So, now S30 is equal to 30 by 2, 2 into a, that is 200, plus n minus 1, 30 minus 1, 29, difference is 50. Clear? Now, 30 by 2, 2 into 200, that is 400, plus 29 fives are, so 29 into 5, 9 fives are 45, carry 4, 5 twos are 10, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 5, 0. So 30 by 2 into 1, 8, 5, 0, clear? So 30 into, this 2 ones are, here 2, 9s are, here 2s are. 5, 9, 25. 
so that is equals to 925 into 3 so 925 into 3 5 threes are 15 carry 1 3 twos are 6 7 9 threes are 27 and here 0 so amount paid is 27,750 so therefore we can say hence contractor has to pay rupees 27,750 for delayed work. This much amount he has to pay as the penalty. Simple, just the problem you see, just you want to find the sum of 30 terms. Clear? But you see the situation, condition that fellow has created. Okay? Now, same we will do question number 16. See what is the question? You read the question. A sum of rupees 700 is to be used to give 7 cash prize to student of a school for their overall academic performance if each prize is rupees 20 less than its preceding prize. Each prize is 20 less than its preceding prize. Find the value of each prize. So here total sum of 700. Read the question. What it says? A sum of rupees seven hundred is used to give the seven cash prize. From this seven hundred rupees, seven prize are given. Seven cash prize are given, and each cash prize has the difference of rupees twenty. So, sum of rupees seven hundred is to be used to give seven cash prize to students of a school for their overall academic performance. If each prize is rupees twenty less than its preceding prize, then find the value of each of the price clear so here we can say a total price total price sum total sum sum of all seven price is rupees 700 so sn is given here and there are seven price n is given difference is given 20 so here we can say a s7 is equals to 700 sum of seven price is 700 so n is equals to 7 here and difference difference of each price is 20 rupees difference is 20 so first price will be bigger naturally first price will get more amount second price get will less amount for example first price will get 100 so second price will get 80 so difference t2 minus t1 so here difference is minus 20 students used to make mistake here they will write difference 20 why because it is mentioned in your problem Okay, there is a difference of 20 rupees in each price. So difference is not 20 minus 20. Why? Because first price amount will be more than the second price. So T2 minus T1. So you will get minus 20. Have you got it? Now you want to find the value of each of the price. It seems difficult but it is quite easy. You want to understand only two concepts. Get sum of total 7 price. So S7 is 700. Total price are 7. Difference is minus 20, not 20. First price will be bigger. This will be T1, this will be T2. So T2 minus T1. So 80 minus 100 will be minus 20. Clear? So now we will use S7. So we have the formula Sn is equal to n by 2, 2a plus n minus 1 into d. This is the formula Sn and that is equal to 700. Clear. See, I will use this way. Just a minute. Sn is equals to 700. Sn, you know, n by 2, 2a plus n minus 1 into difference is equals to 700. Now, we have, we don't have here, we have difference. Clear. We don't have here, only one thing is unknown here, that is Sn here, S7 is 700. S7 is 7. N is 7. So 7 by 2. Only one thing is unknown. That is A. 2A plus 7 minus 1. 6. Difference. Difference is minus 20. So minus 20 is equals to 700. So only one thing is unknown. That is A. So you will get the first term. So if you get the first term and you have the difference, so you can find all the 7 price. What difference? So S7 is 700. So formula is this. 7 by 2. 2a plus n minus 1 means 7 minus 1, 6d is equal to 700. Clear? 
Now the 7 by 2 will go there. So 2a plus into minus minus 6 into 120. 120 is equals to 700 into 7 by 2. So 2 by 7. So 2a minus 120 is equals to 7 ones are 100. 100 into 2, 200. So 2a is equals to 200 plus 120. So 2a is equals to 320. So a is equals to 160. So a means first term. Hence value of first price. So we can say value of first price. First term a is equals to 160. Now value of second price. 20 less. So 160 minus 20. So that is equals to 140. Clear? Now third price. 140 minus 20. So that is equals to 120. Fourth price. 120 minus 20. That is equals to 200. Fifth price. 100 minus 20. That is equals to 80. Sixth price. 80 minus 20 is equals to 60. Seventh price. 60 minus 20 is equals to 40. So these are all seven price and if you find the total of these seven price it will be 700. Have you got it friends? So quite simple. Conditions are different. Just you want to understand that fact. Clear. Now we will discuss 17th problem. So question number 17. Here. So in a school students thought of planting trees. In a school students thought of planting trees in and around the school to reduce air pollution. It was decided that the number of trees that each section of each class will plant. Number of trees that each section of each class. For example, first class. First class. So how many sections we don't know? Second class. Third class. So and so. Like this. Twelfth class. What it says, it was decided that number of trees that each section of each class will plant will be the same as the class in which they are studying. Example, section of class 1 will plant 1 tree, a section of class 2 will plant 2 trees and so on till class 12. There are 3 sections of each class, how many trees will be planted by the students. So first class will plant 1 tree. Second class 2, third class 3, twelfth class 12, okay, tenth class 10. So, fourth class 4, fifth class 5 plants, sixth class 6 plants, tenth class 10 plants, eleventh class 11 plants, twelfth class 12 plants. And there are three sections. First class, there are three sections. So, we can say 1 into 3. Second class, also three sections. Every class has three, three sections. So these are the number of plants planted by first class. These are second class. These are third class. And tenth class means three section. Ten into three. Twelve means three. Twelve into. Have you got it? So now you have to find out how many trees will be planted by the students. So we can say there are three sections of each class. So number of trees that are planted by student of class one, two, and three. So there are three sections we can say. There are three sections of each class. Okay, so number of trees, number of trees planted by class one, two, three, four, so so are. First class. So first class will plant one tree. Class 
number of trees are same first class one tree second class two tree but each class has three sections so first class three sections so one into three so one into three then two into three then three into three four into three dash 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 twelve into three so these are the trees planted by first class second class third class fourth class twelfth class okay so we can say that is 3 6 9 12 dash 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 12 3 are 36 form sign ap so in short in every problem we have seen verbal problem ultimately it forms an ap that's all and you want to find the sum of this this is first term this is second term this is third term this is fourth term and this is 12th term 12th class 12th term you want to find sum So here a is equals to three. We can say difference is equals to six minus three. That is equals to three. We can say last term. That is we have here number of terms n is equals to twelve and last term is equals to thirty six. Now we want to find sum. Okay, so we use the formula S n is equals to n by two a plus l. So n is twelve. So S twelve is equals to 12 by 2, first term that is 3, last term is 36, so that is 12 by 2, 6 into 36 plus 3, 39. So 9 sixes are 54, carry 5 sixes are 18 and 5 23. 234. 234. So total trees planted. So therefore, total trees planted is equals to 234. I hope you understood this very well. So remaining problems like this for fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, all these are verbal problems. Try to understand the condition. Just you have to find the sum. That's all. So I hope you understood this. Please go through the theory. Try to understand each and every concepts. Prepare the note while watching the videos. Then go through that notes and try to solve all problems by your own in rough book. please follow this instruction it will be more beneficial to you thank you very much